Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Dragon Knights. My name is Thrustfer, and today we're going to be continuing our adventures through Explorers of Sky. Now, when we last left off, we managed to save Azuril from an evil drowsy atop of a large mountain after failing once and we produced a very long episode. Today, well, we're just going to see what adventures befall us. The three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work once again. Chateau, what do you have for us? Uh, you too. Let me give you a summon for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs that will do for today. Understood? No shirking our work, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it. And now, well, now we get to go look at the bulletin board. Now, I remember in the last episode, we actually did manage to look at this bulletin board, and we did obtain some jobs, I believe? Yeah, okay, we did, okay. So these are all of the ones that we've accepted. Now we have to activate them after doing this. Remember to do this once you obtain a job, by the way, because I remember a very long period of time, even up to almost the end of the game, where I did not do this at all. I just ex I just took the jobs. Either I took the jobs, I didn't, um, I accepted them, I didn't take them and activate them, and I went to the dungeon, it's just like, what the heck, why am I not finding anything? And I would proceed with the story. Or I just saw them on the bulletin board and went to go do them and never actually got any done. So now, we're going to activate all of these. And now, we're primarily going to focus on Drenched Bluff today, due to the fact that we have so many things from Drenched Bluff. Um, we've cleared out the uh, notice board and the job bulletin board. So now, let's go up to the top. So a good practice to keep in mind for this game is to accept a bunch of jobs at once and go to that location where you have the most jobs at. Because that'll allow you to get the most work done, most amount of money that you can potentially get. <clears throat> well, that's the Sex cash. And the most amount of items as well. Now, I would like to warn you all, once again, just like in the last episode, I am still feeling under the weather. Uh, there will be a standalone video coming out very soon. As going to admittedly be a bit of a ranty style video discussing why I am like this once again. It's gonna be aggravating. But that's not the point of today's video. The point of today's video is to have fun and explore the land of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Ah, yes, I've heard. You saved that cute Azuro from a horrible outlaw? For that, please accept our sincere thanks. Welcome to the Calcleon Shop. Very well. Feel free to examine my merchandise. You can use L to choose more than one item. Uh, there's nothing really to get from here. Nothing, maybe a max elixir and a sleep seed. You know what? Nah, I'm actually not gonna buy anything from this Calcyon. Uh, what do you have over here? You have to rest a criminal so early in your career. You must be exceptional. It's hard to believe you've been on the explosion team for a short while. Welcome to Calcyon Ways, where you can find orbs and tiums. Ah, very well. Take a look at my merchandise, all chosen with pride. You can use L to choose multiple items, by the way. I really want you to buy a lot of stuff. Uh, hmm. Huh. I mean, Sunny Orb, we'll buy a Sunny Orb, because those can actually be useful. Um, it'll make the weather sunny, which uh, can boost up fire attacks, and can actually help out Turtwig here a fair little bit. Um, because some of Turtwig's later moves that he can get, or she, depending on what gender you make them, uh, they can be very, very heavily buffed by the use of Sunny Orbs. So I'm actually going to start building up a stockpile of them. And I'm going to just start putting them in here. I'm waiting for a very specific TM to come along for me to actually uh, use. For me to actually, yeah, for me to use. Oh no, that just, okay, you know, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna do it one by one. And, uh, there's nothing else I really wanna, no, there's nothing else I really wanna store in there. So we're not gonna do anything else. We're just gonna continue forward and continue on our journey. 
So, drenched bluff, here we go. Huh, okay, so there's that. All right, drenched bluff. Drenched bluff, bottom floor one. Oh, hey, a petroberry. That'll help us with any poison we might incur. Uh, this room's empty. All right, this is gonna be a straightforward floor. Oh, here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and just start with a nice tackle. One hit kill, nicely done. We got one other guy in there. I'm not messing with him. We're gonna continue forward. And then that one's already taken out. Oh great, we've been constructed and slowed. So the slow effect is as it sounds. It makes you move slower. See, they're able to do multiple moves in one turn now, as opposed to me, who can only do one. And that's because, compared to them, I'm moving half as fast. So now we're back at normal speed. It is not the best thing to have happen to you in a dungeon. Alright, so then, what's the one that allows us to turn on the spot? It's Y. So which one's Y again? There we go. So that's one. Sorry, it's taking me a moment to remember all the controls for this game. It has unfortunately been a bit since I played it. Man, it feels good though to be playing this game, I'm not gonna lie. I, I absolutely loved it. And I actually discovered a funny thing about this game. So, apparently this game has uh, copyright protection built into it for those who obtain fraudulent copies of this game. And I may have to attempt to get a uh, an emulated version of this game that is like that. So I can actually show that off, because it's actually kind of funny, and I, I found it just really great what they did. And for those of you wondering, yeah, yeah, I am using an emulated version myself, but I... For one, this is a Nintendo DS game from about uh, 10 years ago almost at this point, I believe. I believe this is a 10-year-old game now. And the sale of this game by any independent little game shop is not going to benefit the original makers of this game in any shape or form. Oh hey, here's one of our people that we're supposed to save. Now, stop moving. There we go, found the lead. Now go on back. What floors, what floors do I have objectives on? No, we got like multiple other missions. No, darn it all. There we go. Uh, but, hold on, I'm trying to find out mission objectives, there we go. So floor four and floor five. So the next couple of floors, I'll probably keep going beyond that to gain more experience, fight more enemies, and get more items. But, as I was saying, the sale of this game by any independent game store is not going to benefit Game Freak, Chunsoft, or Nintendo in any shape, form, or fashion, due to the fact that the they would be pre-owned games, not sold by Nintendo anymore. And as a result of that, they're not going to see any revenue from that sale because it was already bought by someone else a long time ago, and it's just no way that they can potentially see any financial gain from it. And that is my, and another thing is, I can't even record this game if I were to buy it for a Nintendo DS. So that, that is the reason why I choose to emulate games as well. A little side note on that, I choose to emulate games that are old enough to the point where no new copies are being sold by any uh, authorized seller, that has that stocks Nintendo merchandise, or they're games that I cannot possibly record if I don't emulate them. And this is one such game. Now, if this was a, a SNES game or an NES game, then maybe I would try and go through the ropes of getting an NES or an SNES for myself and getting an upscaler like a Frame Meister to try and get high quality frames from it and record them off my Elgato HD60 and upload them to YouTube. However, that's not going to be the applicable case in this point because this game was released for the Nintendo DS 
and to be able to play this on Nintendo DS hardware, either a newer 3DS or <clears throat> an original DS, it is going to cost me a fair bit of cash to get a modded Nintendo DS. And I mean, I do mean a fair bit, it's like... <sighs> Last I looked, and I think this was about a year ago around Christmas time in 2019, I was looking at it, and they were, I believe, 200 bucks for a modded, a software, a soft modded uh, Nintendo 3DS XL. New Nintendo 3DS XL, one of the newer models. You know, that does all the newest stuff. <coughs> and uh, that was just for that. And I want... That's a, that's a pretty big investment considering that I've already got multiple uh, Nintendo... Well, no, I've got a Nintendo 3DS, a new Nintendo 3DS Galaxy Edition myself that I absolutely love and it is my own personal thing. I, I know that this video has just turned into me talking about my own experiences with devices. Or, uh, what, not experiences with devices, but how and why I emulate games, or rather why I emulate games as opposed to how. But it is what it is. It's back to what I was saying. What's the objective for this one? Rescue Starly. Okay. Oh, wait, that's them right there. Starly. Starly. Hey, pal. Pal, pal. I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you, Starly. Go back home. <laughs> Anyways, though, point is, it would be an expensive investment. No, I don't want to leave the dungeon. Yes, I want to continue exploring. It'd be an expensive investment for me uh, to be able to acquire the hardware needed to play Nintendo DS games, and I might make that investment one day to play my own personal collection of games, you know, <coughs> for you guys, and show off my save files, because I do have a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky, or not Explorers of Sky, Explorers of Darkness, and Explorers of Time uh, that I played the hell out of, for example. And I do want to try and show off at some point. But that is a fair bit down the line. Unfortunately, once again, that's just an investment I am not ready to make for myself. Oh, hey, there's our client right there. <clears throat> but yes, I am fully aware as well, by the way, of all the copyright shenanigans that have been going on with Nintendo and um, what they're doing to individuals out there. And it's... Just to shine a little bit of light on that for a moment, I highly encourage you guys to go look up what they've done about several independent tournaments. Uh, would you like to leave the dungeon now? No. Yes, I want to continue exploring. And how they've treated uh, tournaments. What? And all of that stuff. I highly recommend that you all go check out that stuff because it is very important what's going on with it. It is really ridiculous what Nintendo is doing, especially in light of the pandemic and doing what they're doing to these tournaments that would not affect their bottom line whatsoever. It's something that I highly encourage those of you out there to go and examine yourselves. But that, once again, is not the point of this video, so I am sorry that I keep bringing up stuff like that. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna swap this out. What? Let's get back to the episode. I spent long enough rambling about that. I've rambled through the entirety of this episode talking about that. I am so sorry. I don't know how much I'm going to keep of that. Alright, and tackle again. Bada bing, bada boom. I do want to actually complete this dungeon, uh, because, once again, as I explained earlier, the more I complete, the more money I can potentially get off the ground, the more experience I can get for my two characters, and the better off that they will be in future fights. And we're gonna go this, tackle, and... Leave on to the next floor. Drench blob. I believe there's seven floors here. What? There's a destination floor here? Wait, what? I guess there's a spinner rack here. I'm supposed to save. I guess. 
Oh, yeah, the- oh, okay, I see now. Hi, Spinarak! Wow, that was actually interesting. I'm really glad I didn't leave. I didn't even realize- wow, I'm really out of it. Okay, so that, that explains something. If an objective doesn't have a specific floor mentioned, I guess, then it can appear on any random floor, so it's kind of forcing you to just keep going through everything. And we made it to the end of the dungeon! Yeah! Appears to be the end of the dungeon. It's possible to go any farther. It's time to go back. And we've cleared Drench Bluff once again. Thank you for rescuing me. To show my thanks, I want to have you. I want you to have my heal seed. Nice. Put in storage. To show my thanks, I want you to have my reviver seed. That is what we need the most. Our reviver seeds. Those are very important in this game. I want you to have my special band. Nice. And we've earned 15 explorer points. Hello, Starly. Okay, you want me to have a gravel rock? Or gravel rock. Let's put in storage. 15 explorer points. Thank you for asking Spinarak. Please accept this 1500 gold. Or rather, our share of 150. Check my gravel rock. 10. Nice. Oh, I didn't put my cash in the Dust Gold Bank. I'm glad we didn't get knocked out. I would have sucked. Thanks for finding Spinarak. Please accept another 150 gold. Nice. And a royal gummy. Very nice. 15 explorer points. Crunch munch shoot you snuffle slurp 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 We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Theris. <clears throat> okay, good night. Night, Tenen. Chapter four: The Gatekeepers. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is this where we get to play that mini game? <gasps> Up and at him! It's morning. Ugh. Good morning, Theris. Would you like to save your adventure? We're actually going to save and continue, and we're going to end this episode off here. And I'm actually going to record another episode immediately after this, because I want to get into that, and I don't want the episodes to be too long. So, thank you guys so much for coming out to today's episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. If you enjoyed it, feel free to go ahead and hit that like button, and if you disliked it, you can also hit that dislike button, especially if you dislike my rant in the middle of it there. Sorry about that. I just had something to talk about, and this wasn't a story important episode at all. This is just dungeon crawling episode, which there will be some of those throughout this series. They're going to happen. And uh, maybe I'll just treat those as a nice little opportunity to just talk about stuff going on at the moment. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, though, if you did happen to end up hitting that like button, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Greatly helps me out. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Be sure to hit that bell icon too and select all notifications to get all notifications for when I upload a video. Post in the community tab because I'll often post about stuff happening in the community tab or I'll put up a poll. And for when I live stream over here on YouTube because that is likely to happen more often now. Uh, don't forget to also check out links down below in the description, especially for my Discord server. Where you can often find me, chatting with the other members of the community, and it's where I will let you guys know of stuff going on in my personal life, uh, delays in videos, and I will ask you guys questions about what to do next as well, or other random questions I'll have for you guys. Don't forget to share this video on social media, and don't forget to comment down below what you thought of today's episode. Now, with all that being said, thank you guys once again for coming to today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night, everyone.